going to be another hit one because it's easy. Okay. It's going to be really easy for you. Okay, yeah. It's, you know which one I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Have you done it before? Okay. Um, not so I wanted to go live and talk a little bit about <clears throat> Time Massage Jam. Time Massage Jam is spreading. We have chapters that are now currently running in San Antonio. Hey mom, how you doing? Um, currently running in San Antonio, Dallas, Denton, Colleen, and Austin, which is our primary, which is the one we're at right now, the, the Austin Jam. Um, when I talk to people about the Time Massage Jam and what it is, it's a community bodywork event that I've fostered here in Austin for about seven years. It was just this year where we finally opened up other chapters. We're working on our website, we're working on informational videos to be able to give people some basic sequences they can kind of follow at the jam. You can always download a the free copy of my workbook on my website, robertgardnerwellness.com. And I wanted to talk about some of the general logistics for the jams themselves. Uh, people get a little confused about, you know, is the jam for licensed massage therapists or is it for the public? Primarily the way I think of the jam is it's for the public. Um, I'm mainly having licensed massage therapists host the jams because they have enough information to be able to share with the public. I think that massage is for everybody and anybody can learn the basics of musculoskeletal anatomy and be able to work on people. Um, provides an inexpensive way for people to get regular work, to have community, and for a very low fee, be able to work on each other. So for instance, <clears throat> at our jam tonight, if a couple shows up, we will usually work with them and show them how to work on each other. Uh, when I come to the jam, I don't just give the entire time. I actually work on people and then they work on me. It's very common where I take someone like Tana right here. That's Tana. Hey, Tana, how you doing? Tana Johnston. You can follow her on her social media. She lives here in Austin now. She's looking for more clients. She told me earlier if you guys schedule a session with her because I told you to, please, please let her know because she's looking for some more clients right there. Lovely, lovely lady. So, <clears throat> When people come in, I just work with them. We share some basic information and then we build community. Our jam here in Austin meets each week on, on Thursday nights. You can join Austin Time Massage on Facebook if, you're joining, if you'd like to join that group. We have a Time Massage Jam page, a main page. We're going to work on slowly, I think, putting the events through the page, but we're still working on infrastructure. I tell people, let's see, what are some of the primary rules? One of the rules for the people who are running the Time Massage Jam is I tell them that if I come to the Time Massage Jam, I get to control the music. I get to be DJ. Uh, two, I tell people the second rule of Time Massage Jam is we don't play any Enya. If I find out, I'm going to rip your charter. You're never going to play Time Massage Jam ever again. Uh, the third rule of Time Massage Jam is it's kind of like Fight Club, <laughs> except it's the opposite. You have to tell everybody about Time Massage Jam. Yeah, so, so they're along those lines. <clears throat> hey, hey Angela, how you doing? So if you guys have questions for me at all, feel free to ask. People in the background are just getting started working. I just wanted to talk about the jam and some of the basic uh, logistics. Normally, like I said, I try to have a licensed therapist run them. People come in, we give, share, receive, learn. It doesn't matter if you have no background in massage at all. It's really for everyone to come in and learn just a little bit from a licensed therapist and be able to feel confident to giving and receiving in a community environment. It's a little bit like going to a dance where if you didn't know how to salsa dance, you'd go hang out with other people who were salsa dancing and somebody would say, hey, do you not know how? You say, no, I, I need somebody to show me. And then they would go through the basics with you and kind of roll you into the dance. That's a little bit how the flow uh, for the jam happens. And we just work with the people who show up. It's been a wonderful experience over the years. We've educated a lot of folks. When we started, a lot of the acro yoga community was interested in what we were doing. And they were particularly having problems with their hands because of compressive force when they were doing acro yoga and supporting body weight on their hands and wrists. So I was showing people not only 
how I could work on them, but I was showing them how to work on each other so that the work sort of filtered out and people could help each other and not need me so much. It became great community service, great word of mouth, uh, great exposure, and it was just fun. We could listen to ACDC, hang out, do our thing. Uh, here in a minute, I may grab someone and do like a, a little quick demonstration if I get a chance. But I just wanted to say hello to you guys. And again, if you have any questions for me, just let me know. Yeah, once you get in that group, you don't get hungry. Yeah, it's weird. People, some people have fast and they're like, dude, you're going to die. And I'm like, you're going to die. You're going to die. There are some people that. Well, yeah, eventually. But I mean, if anything, I'll live longer. Sometimes, sometimes not. Peeing my pancreas sure. every three hours is not really the healthiest thing. Landon can teach. So, what? <laughs> that's on yeah, camera. Just like kind of face that way. Sure. Should probably work. You mean face that way? How my face is like go. this? And then scoot over towards me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'll probably work. I have no idea what we're doing. You can cross your legs if you want. Okay. Feel more comfortable like that. If you want to, yeah. yeah. Does this bother you? Yes. I think it's interesting. I find it too much. No, it's, it's like not even really effort. effort. Yeah. I mean, if you're doing tons of work, yeah. you're going to need more food. Are you still taking clients but right it's now? It's not that. It's more stress. Are you going to tell so, them why you're taking clients? Oh, hi. I'm taking yeah. clients right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not right this moment. It's not so much but, about you know, it's not so much about things. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, uh, I'm in Austin, I mean, I mean, uh, and my uh, website is blendbodywork.com. You can schedule an appointment with me uh, at any time. And I'm located in Austin, Texas, near Cedar Park. And you all should get a session with me because I'm amazing. Yeah, you don't want to do that. You can go higher, yeah. Yeah, the left side or the right? Under there. Yeah, you can push your. Yeah, I'm gonna lean you back into my knees. Yeah. Is that better? Yeah. Yeah. You can get even under more. Yeah, some of my friends say it's so expensive that you think that you have to plan. If you don't plan, it's very expensive. Probably planning is expensive too. They don't. They just don't eat as much. Yeah. And it's so funny. Like this is so simple. Yeah. Much smaller. It's so much smaller. So many. It's, it's still, seated is still my least favorite position. I figure a lot of the food mm -hmm. But when it comes to this, this is really good. Yeah. Like there's a few key things that are awesome. I think somebody was trying to call me. I hope it didn't drop for too long. But I'm just having a conversation with Danielle here. And she was talking about the fact that you could get a session with her if you want to. You can. But is it blend body work? It's blend body work. It's not. Eat. Like, no, I'm just kind of not used to it. Like, they just, you know, maybe you're here. 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 Like, yeah, take somebody who's really geared up and start yeah, out. So much like, oh, you have problems with your, you know, yeah, shoulders, and then you work on this stress second. Mm -hmm. like, Let them get the talking out. Like, this you want to do more broad quick. Like, the um, like below the bone, you want to use your whole foot, yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, yeah. Feel that up in my head. Because it's more... Yeah. Yeah. I always assume yeah. that's a levator. Yeah. 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 Do you know, you know, do you know anatomy, or do you know the IT man? You hear it all the time, huh? Yeah. Too much more on knees off. Mm -hmm. your, your brain has a different. Like I said, I feel really supported on your knees. Kind of feel you. Uh, all right, come on, buddy. We are going to fly. I also realize how tight I am. That's <laughs> cool. Yeah, it's, it's weird. not too much over here. Now, do you like the, the, the kind of back and forth? <laughs> <laughs> you're going to make me just say one spot. And then some people are shocked to know if you... Just 
I like the back and forth. You don't really lose weight. What about if I give you a little sway with it? Yeah, I like that. Because I'm feeling how tight it is and I'm feeling where it's moving. You can do, do you want to do the other side? This is one of those things like I do still work on. It feels good. it to students. And I think what I do is I give up on making it perfect and I just try to educate as I go. So like they'll ask like, you know, if I had to choose between this or the rock and you're probably fine. You're in good shape. I feel like it's more correct, if you will, when you go, I go, what do you like? Yeah. And they go, I like this. That feels better. Mm -hmm. I'm like, it feels good? Okay, do that. I think it's good. Yeah, exactly. But it's in, because they, they want it to be exact with everybody. And it's like, it just doesn't work that way. But everybody is different. Like, that's the entire human condition. That they do already. Oh, it feels so good. Is that too much? Or is it closer to the elbow? Uh, can I just say arm? So, I mean, I should wear it. I don't know what I mean. I give you both. Because it's real simple. Yeah, like alcohol munching. But I think it's like, your body is really going to put stuff So, if I hold you right there, what happens if you try to straighten your arm? But yeah. you know, if I drink a small amount of alcohol, it's yeah. like So know, it's yeah. real simple. But if like I've just got a forearm over here, I've got a forearm on her tricep, then I'm having her do a pin and stretch to herself where she's straightening her arm. I realize that I'll take care of myself. I mean, he's like. That's <laughs> all this is doing. Well, they need to get more sessions with you uh, so you can clearly, afford to go get massages. Clearly, <laughs> all this is doing is reminding me I need more massage. Like, do that to your clients. You know, videos. In increments and things on things like that. Make them crazy. Uh, women that you can sign up for. Uh, for like seven dollars a month. Usually, even yeah, women that are very tall or very large. And the funny thing is, you're also working bicep because of the pressure in your leg. Some of it is blood flow. Yeah. Does it go back in your Oh, yeah. It's just a compression. Mm -hmm. Especially this uh, the underarm That's piece, and then I'll be careful with the crook of the elbow. The but then people's so small arms, I'll think it is. Oh, yeah, well. that feels amazing. Okay. Okay. A little closer Probably to the elbow. Kind of a um, flicker or something like that. Can I also right. just say yeah. Right there? Yeah. Yeah. What about back and forth? Good? There we go. So now I'm blending this. This is the same. But now it's forearm, right on my thigh right at the top of the forearm, like the forearm yeah. extensors. Yeah. But I'm also, again, feeling it like underneath. In the so flexors? Yeah. Yeah, it's straight. Yeah, yeah. Unless it's more like comfortable than the other. Yeah. Um, Posterior? No, more medial. Doctor. When you say more medial, what do you mean? Towards you? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, right there. Why did I tell you that? I should have so done it. not really for diabetics, but for sometimes people. What about the roll? Uh, so much? Okay. Yeah. About right there. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, just really nice. Right yeah, no. Instead of yeah, snacking, you get the meat like you and get the meat, a recommended meal plan. It might be easier. But instead yeah. of snacking, yeah. you take a shot of olive oil. And the, the alternate was a shot of sugar water, but it had to be a certain yeah. proportion of yeah. sugar yeah. water. Yeah. They're tight. They are. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, crazy yeah. claw. Yeah. Look, everybody, she's waving at the camera. I'm not, I'm not, she's waving, look. She's in a parade. I'm she's not waving. In of this. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what's going on. I just my hands. <laughs> so there's a lot of pressure where he's holding, and I feel it. One thumb wrapped over the other. Instead of just pressing one hand, you're just putting the thumb yeah, and reinforce the other. Nice. And I don't really feel it until he starts flapping my arm around. It's a movement. Oh, yeah. Dense calories. Yeah. Because it's like slightly moving the muscles. And I also can't hit him because he has control of my arm. I block. I block. Can block. Yeah, Why are you right? punching See? yourself? Why are you punching yourself? This is, this is a very good technique. <laughs> it's offensive and defensive. Oh, yeah. Bad side? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And again, it's so funny because even nice. though my arm is just yeah. draped over your I leg, I still I feel supported. Do they exist elsewhere? Yeah. Because I haven't talked to Tarek, but they are. I don't think so. Yeah. I think it's there. Yeah. Two thumbs up. Oh, that's awesome. Right there. Yeah. Oh, man, I felt that in my hand. I didn't expect it to. I didn't expect it to pop either. Really nice. You know what I mean? Like, they're nice, but it's not as nice. Is that right here? Not as genuine. So I'm feeling that, like, from right around here all the way down to down there. I don't know what those muscles are called. I promised I went to school at some point. Oh, don't worry. I was teaching to the camera yesterday, and I'm like, we go look up those muscles after the class. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. There's muscles in there. It's an arm. Well, it's like you get into a complexity because it's like when you talk about forearm extensors, if you start isolating each individual extensor, that's more complicated. But for daily use, you don't really need to know all of them. Too much right there? So you can still? Heavy lift too high. But I still, again, I still feel really supported, even though you've only got my arm. I was talking to yeah, 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 Maricos, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tender I eyes. went, um, then you can because Howie went to the house. Howie, Cohen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's yeah. really sensitive. I sent him by some. In California, yeah. I was in California for a while. And yeah. and so my calves are more tight. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's because of all the light. Yeah, you know what I put on them? Oh, sure. In the desert. I like the way you say poke. There's no broad, you just like poke, oh, like yeah. sharp. And he was there. And uh, well, I'll, you'll know that I'm there. Oh, I shouldn't have said that while you have my arm. Too much right there? Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's a difference between ulna, yeah, bone right there, and like soft sort of forearm flexors. Use the squishy part. And if I, if I use the soft part, that's usually a little better. Like I still feel it, but it's not as sharp. And I feel that all the way down to my pinky yeah, ring and middle finger. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice group. Yeah. Because we do it all in front of This this kind yeah. of shortening is a little bit much. There are a lot of different ones, but the insight meditation is nice. Yeah, because. So, so what I do is I, I trick Danielle into working on my quadriceps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do you roll out your quads? Using Danielle's arm? I should be charging him. You see this? I should be charging him. Oh, you might have feels really good. Like, Broad? The closer to the elbow right there? Yeah. Oh, right there. Like back and forth. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's funny because I also feel it in my bicep. And then again, my fingers. Yeah, you know, those guys are like a little they're broad. Not, yeah, they're good. Broad they're good. It's, it's, yeah. It does yeah. help in the most part. Not everyone, you know, there's always the jam itself and the way that students. Yeah. Or I say students, but the people who are running jams and the way that they're interacting with the public is loose and kind of free flowing. Each individual jam is run fairly independently, so some jams are going to be a little more teaching based. Some are going to be a little bit more hangout. Our jams in Austin have been a little bit more hangout just because we've done them for so long. We have like a strong community of people who already know a lot and just start working with each other. Now, more towards the radius or more towards the arm? I think it's towards the radius now. Towards the radius, that way? Yeah. Right there. And if that shifts the feeling for me down to my pointer and thumb. Could it be the radial nerve? I know. <laughs> I swear I went to school. I passed a test and everything. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. Just to show you. Uh -huh. and, um, then so much? No, it feels good and bad. Show you this last so it hurts so good. But it's the oh. tingling. So yeah, we're doing that. Jeez. Yeah. My husband's from Austin now. Oh, okay. But he hasn't lived so here this for way, 20 uh, years. Oh, it's so different. It was a tiny little thing. Oh. This here? He doesn't know anything. He's like, I don't know. Like How's that feel for your thumbs? So. Uh, totally safe. I'll, I'll let you know it's me in a second. So, yeah, in fact, we'll go up to the camera just a little closer so they can see it. Because it feels like there's nothing. Let me give so here, this a second. I get to, I get to stop thumbs in hand. Yeah, so you can do this just more. So, yeah, I just wanted to give like a, just like a quick demonstration. But the people who pair up just like they would be dancing, you know, sometimes people will work on each other for an hour and then trade out. Uh, sometimes it'll be a little shorter sessions depending on what people just negotiate in advance. But it's a good way to like network and hang out with people. I wanted to show up close. Uh, Danielle was asking how I use my thumbs. And mostly what I was doing is I'll put one thumb down on the spot I want to press on, but I'll use my other thumb to reinforce it. 
in a way that yeah. doesn't feel like I'm straining muscles to hold that thumb down? Did you want to work on my hand? Yeah, and well, and just real quick, and the thing is too, when when he initially had his thumbs on top like that, it didn't feel anything until he started shaking. Yeah. How does that feel? Good. Like I'm not. Is it too much on your hand? No, not at all. Like this, I just feel like I'm. I feel it mainly down to this finger. Yeah, well, yeah, that's where I'm also pressing. But like, I'm just like holding it there, but I'm not feeling any movement until I'm flapping his hand around. Is there a more technical term for flapping? No, I think flapping is a medical term. <laughs> So, and it's neat too because what I'm feeling is a muscle move around underneath and then I can change, isolate something else. And again, I'm just, I'm just barely, I mean not barely, but I'm holding it but without pressure and then flapping it around, right? And a little later? No, no, it's fine. It took, it took me just a second to like settle into it. Yeah, again, I'm just, I mean, hi everybody, I'm pretending I'm working. So, and it's just really easy. And again, just stacked on top, you have big form. Stacked on top, finding that nice hard place, gently holding, and then waving to the crowd, like you're like some sort of royalty, like Princess Robert. Hello, hello. You have me as a ninja, I have you as a princess. That's that's our relationship. <laughs> Yeah, no, just that little bit feels better. Yeah, and yeah. it was super easy. Like, I didn't feel straining my wrist. It was a little strained to have it up here, but it wasn't too difficult at all. And I still have some. I think still play the video. Do you need me to uh, work on something else? Um, what do you feel like showing? Well, I mean, I can do whatever. I just didn't know what you had. In other words, what I feel like showing is not as important as what you're having issues with, and I just show them what I work on. Okay. Well, pretty much everything. I mean, neck, neck, pecs, neck. all that jazz. Okay. So let me um, have you sit and then kind of face whatever direction. I'm going to show them like a little bit of neck work from seated. And it didn't look like you guys had any specific questions, but if you do, uh, just feel free to write below. Now I'm just going to demonstrate a little bit of neck work from seated since we opened up her traps, levator scap, a little bit in her arms, just to go ahead and kind of complete it and do a little neck work. <laughs> Yeah. Is there too much over here? No. Okay. This is, I'm just going to hold from here. How's that in your neck right there? I, what I did was I put pressure on my California. Yeah. So if I, if I take you to your forearm, is that a little better? Yeah. There we go. So I moved her to her forearm instead of underneath because it felt like this was a little too much pressure. But it seemed like the forearm flexors on my thigh gave me a little more of a handle to be able to pull as I push her over. But I'm able to use my forearm and the posterior cervical spine like in her neck right here. And I'm just using a big broad forearm to lean down. Now if I hold right there, can you move your head and neck around at all? Wasn't totally, you know, it was an affiliate. Too much down here. So they didn't have them. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. And I mean, if I move out a little bit further, how's that? And so they would make you work. I mean, they just, they just didn't. A little bit posterior, a little bit anterior. Like it was impossible. A little like anterior, you know, five right jobs in one job description. You know? Some of so it takes on like nuance where you just have to communicate. I'll start using and words like posterior, and just, anterior, you know, just means front or back. I'm just trying to get feedback from her about where to put pressure. What about the jaw circle? I like that. There we go. Because I feel that up and down from your from the point of pressure that you've got going on. Oh yeah, you're yeah. probably just standing there and getting help. So for me, I feel like I'm getting a little bit more from the jaw circle. And so, so I started down for it there. Is it too much? And then I still continue my studies so much that it's hard to. So you can't use a lot of force because of the way her head is over, but it's enough to give her some length to be able to apply a little bit of pressure there. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling it from right here, all through here, and down towards my hands. I love that. You should do that all the time forever. What do you think about it? The hands are the natural one because that's easy. And then I can also press into him if that feels like... 
just because I have that ability. They didn't want to. They wasn't the culture to. I mean, it was interesting. Because it wasn't the culture to admit these things. It just started being more open like 10 years ago, just the beginning, but they were. So she doesn't walk out of here like this? We're going to go do the opposite side? Yeah, I feel the difference. It's crazy. I do feel like this. Usually when I'm working, I'm trying to make it as biomechanically effective as possible. It's good. It's like I'm delivering the easiest way to deliver pressure that's the strain on my body. How are you doing? Very good. And the back and forth yeah. is still good. Oh, yeah. 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 Sometimes the yeah. movement or the shearing, yeah. Yeah. it feels yeah. like yeah. you can feel the fiber yeah. start to unwind and you yeah. feel the yeah. vertebra yeah. around yeah. where you're yeah. applying yeah. pressure. I was. I was. I got more into more because and then I finally was just like, yeah, I, I, no, it's good. I definitely feel like they're physically breaking up. Just mirror with the left. Oh. Anyway, yeah, that's probably uh, good on that. Not sure. No, not at all. Your non-dominant side uh, that feels great. has different problems. Oh. So what it feels like the for me is he's using the sharp part like of his um, forearm, so which is that's what the is with. Kind of yeah. In one place. And, and he's just pressing into an area that's super tight. But it doesn't. But it feels awesome. So I'm gonna roll with it. The dominant side doesn't get that kind of stuck anchor feel. It gets the, I've been moving in the I don't even know where you're at now, it's awesome. <laughs> it's neck. All over the place. Well, like, it can yeah, be intense very, enough that you're I'm like, you clients will get knocked out. Yeah. 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 We're like, I'm like, like this way or this way? And they're like, really yes. Yes. hey, wait, I asked you a question. Yeah. <laughs> I can understand that. It's um, all of all that. Uh, so he moved a little more earlier towards the back. Yeah, he's amazing. You leaving, Ann? Oh, no, I'm just leaving right here. For it just because this is Tim. Too many All right, Tim, I'm Tim. Yeah. Uh, nice to meet you, Tim. So, by the way, subox or jerks? What do you think so far? <laughs> and, um, <laughs> you, should, you should do stuff to them. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if you guys knew that, but. So a good way to put bilateral compression, compression on both sides, is if you hook your fingers, you can use the heels of your hand on either side of the neck. Since we did either side, I'm just going to lean her forward, and then I'm going to hook the heel of my hand on either side. And it feels like a nice broad pressure with like little more pointed I, I pressure towards where he's using the heel of his hand at the traps and it all feels amazing how's the back and forth that's good training through that kind of pressure in the past just it works of course that's squeezing towards the base of the skull feels awesome
once you've rendered the person who's seated to near goo, that's when you lay them down and then you let them let their spine go so you can keep working on them. How's that? Good. And that like hand grabbing or that right. heel? No, just when you were just like doing this. I don't know what that is. What is that? true. If you no, no, no. You just did when you end it. You're like you have that nap in your brain. You know oh, um, this? Like yeah. Right oh, yeah, just like squeezing like at the end. Like yeah, that feels I mean, really great to yeah. just kind of connect everything back together. And yeah, it, it, yeah. It, for sure. Oh. Also, just like shoulder movement. Like, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And it's just, it just, it makes me realize like how much tight everything is and how everything's connected. I asked the body and asked And how much the scapula sucks. Thank you very much. I feel I'm going to go. Uh, so again, if you guys have any questions for me, just let me know. I just did that little bit of a seated sequence on Danielle just to demonstrate. And it gave me a chance just to talk about the time and size jam and the fact that it's spreading. Typically what I do is have students go through intro tie with me. And then after they go through intro tie, there's like six hours or so of online training. They sign a simple contract, they pay a small fee. Then we're basically working together to try to lift up mat-based body work, time massage in the United States, sort of spread it around. Hey Jason, how you doing? And I think that, is that Bertha? And then Natasha? Hey, it's good to see you guys. Again, if you have any questions at all, just let me know. Um, I do have classes coming up. We just listed most of the classes for the fall. I'll try to list them in order or close to in order. Um, at the end of August, I'm going to Brownsville and McAllen, Texas, at the very southern tip of Texas. And then I've got St. Louis, Missouri in October. I think I have intro and table tie in Round Rock at some point. I've got intro tie in Dallas and I've got two different single day table based classes called Time Massage for the Table at Body Logic in Dallas. That's what we have scheduled right now. We may have potential for more. I was trying to look for dates for phase one but couldn't quite work it out. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, we also have retail packages on the website. If you go to the store for robertgardnerwellness.com, in the store there's a link that'll take you to Teachable. We have um, a retail package with four payments of 97 that you can get. It's full workbooks and DVDs, like 800 pages. Um, and then we've also got a subscription service for $7 a month where I record the bulk of my classes and upload that information so students can work with me in an interactive way. Uh, I thank you guys for tuning in tonight. Again, if you have any questions after the fact, feel free to just drop those below and I'll answer them. Thank you so much for following. You can also find me on all of my social media, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, YouTube, and of course here on Facebook. Thank you guys for tuning in, and again, if you have any questions, write down below, and I'll get back to you later. Thank you very much, and hopefully Time Massage Jam will be in your area soon. Five minutes.